Ever wonder which films will leave you on the floor laughing, or which comedy gems you might have missed? Well, buckle up, grab your snacks, and join us on a journey through our top 10 comedy picks on HBO Max. One day I will swallow up the world. <laughs> and when I do, I hope you all perish violently. <laughs> Let's get started. Coming in at number 10, The Beach Bum. The film follows the eccentric and free-spirited Moondog, portrayed by Matthew McConaughey, as he embarks on a self-indulgent journey through the vibrant and colorful landscapes of Florida. Moondog, a perpetual poet, seeks inspiration indulging in a carefree lifestyle and spontaneous adventures. His unconventional approach to life leads him to encounter an array of eccentric characters, including his wealthy wife, portrayed by Isla Fisher, his agent, portrayed by Jonah Hill, and his loyal friend, portrayed by Snoop Dogg. As Moondog navigates his way through a series of comedic and often bizarre escapades, the film explores themes of self-discovery, creative expression, and the pursuit of happiness against the backdrop of sun-soaked beaches and surreal experiences. With its offbeat humor and vibrant visuals, the movie offers a wild and unpredictable ride through the unconventional mind of its protagonist. Moving on to the ninth spot, with Father Figures. Two brothers embark on a hilarious and heartwarming road trip after discovering their mother's long-held secret about their father. Fueled by curiosity and humor, they meet potential candidates who might be their elusive father, turning the journey into a laugh-filled adventure as boundless as the open road. As the brothers travel, they meet a diverse group of characters, each adding a mix of emotions to their quest for a family answer. The movie beautifully captures the spirit of a road trip, full of laughter, surprises, and, at its heart, self-discovery. Be prepared for a cinematic ride that'll leave you laughing and touched by the bonds that define you. Does the name Helen Baxter ring a bell? It does more than ring a bell. She was like a dick whisperer. She's our mom. All we did was cut her. Let's continue with the eighth position, with Father of the Bride. Prepare to be swept away on an unruly journey through love, family, and cultural chaos in none other than the remake of Father of the Bride. At the center of the chaos is our endearing protagonist as he grapples with the daunting prospect of his daughter's nuptials. This uproarious comedy takes audiences into the heart of a sprawling Cuban-American family as they navigate the tumultuous waters of their daughter's wedding. From meddling relatives to cultural clashes, every step towards the big day is fraught with hilarious mishaps and unexpected revelations. It's a comedic gem that's sure to leave audiences smiling long after the credits roll. So grab your dancing shoes, raise a glass of rum, and join the party. This movie is one family affair you won't want to miss. Daddy, what is the budget that we're working with? How about that? Yes. I really like him. He's nothing like us. Maybe that's the point. You don't watch sports? No. You play sports? I like hiking. Sending strong at number seven is Free Fire. This one flips the script with a hilarious take on a black market weapons deal gone haywire. Chris, the eager buyer, and Vernon, the unconventional dealer, find themselves in a comically comedic shootout that turns the street of Boston into a stage for unexpected laughs. The comedy stands out not only for its humor, but also for its ability to keep the audience guessing with unexpected comedic twists. The large-scale shootout transforms into a side-splitting series of misadventures. With hilarious performances, stylish visuals, and unexpected turns, this film is a must-watch for those craving a good laugh in the chaotic streets of Boston. So that's what a fucking brain looks like. <gasps> Whoa, fuck! And number six is none other than the family. Embark on a hilarious journey with the Manzonis, a notorious mafia family that gets relocated to Normandy, France under the Witness Protection Program, starring Robert De Janeiro as patriarch Giovanni Manzoni, Michelle Pfeiffer as his wife Maggie, and Tommy Lee Jones as their handler. The film explores their struggles to adapt to their new identities while dealing with their deeply ingrained criminal tendencies. As the Manzonis attempt to integrate into the community, their violent past catches up with them, leading to a series of hilarious and chaotic events. Through a blend of dark humor and tense action sequences, the family showcases the challenges of leaving one's past behind, and the bonds that hold families together, even in the most unconventional circumstances. Du beurre de cacahuète. Peanut butter. On the right, after the dog food. Merci. Stupid America. How's your day? Bye. If you're enjoying the content so far, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. Rolling in at number 5, Get Hard. This comedy film directed by Ethan Cohen stars Will Ferrell as James King, a wealthy but clueless businessman who's sentenced to prison for fraud. Panicked at the prospect of incarceration, King enlists the help of Darnell Lewis, played by Kevin Hart, to prepare him for a life behind bars. 
However, Lewis, who is mistakenly presumed to have prison experience, is actually a law-abiding family man with no criminal background. The film hilariously explores themes of stereotypes, race, and class as King and Lewis navigate through a series of comedically misguided attempts to toughen King up for prison life. With Pharrell's trademark absurd humor and Hart's energetic performance, Get Hart delivers laughs while also offering satirical commentary on societal perceptions and prejudices. Punch that big ass dude in the mouth. That's insane. One well, of those type of guys you gonna see in San Quentin. Hey guys, I wanna fight you. Some kind of joke, man? Your mother's a joke. And with this one, we enter the top four with Trainwreck. Directed by Judd Apatow and written by its star Amy Schumer, it's a refreshing and uproarious take on the romantic comedy genre. The journey of a young magazine writer takes a delightful turn as she confronts her belief that relationships lack significance. The film introduces us to Amy, who convincingly embodies the role of a skeptic when it comes to the matter of the heart. However, a chance encounter with the charismatic sports doctor, Aaron, becomes the catalyst for a heartwarming exploration of love and its profound impact. The movie smoothly takes us through the main character's changing view on love, as it cleverly mixes humor and heart, making it enjoyable not just as a comedy, but also as an exploration of love, self-acceptance, and the messy yet beautiful journey of finding one's way in the world. With its laugh-out-loud moments and genuine heart, this film was a must-watch for anyone looking for a modern and relatable take on the classic romantic comedy. What am I doing? I slept at the doctor's place last night. My boy got intimate. Yes. Sexual intercourse. Oh! You never spend the night. What were you, blackout drunk? No, I had like two drinks. Three, max. Four now that I'm tallying. Because you're on antibiotics or something? Let's move on to the final spots. Starting with number three, Horrible Bosses. The story follows three friends, Nick, Kurt, and Dale, who are fed up with their respective intolerable bosses. Nick, played by Jason Bateman, works for a manipulative and abusive executive. Kurt, played by Jason Sudeikis, suffers under a drug addle and incompetent superior, and Dale, portrayed by Charlie Day, is tormented by his sexually harassing employer. Frustrated and desperate for change, they hatch a plan to murder each other's bosses, seeking the help of a dubious ex-convict, played by Jamie Foxx, to execute their scheme. However, their amateurish attempts at assassination lead to a series of hilarious and unexpected complications, forcing them to navigate through a web of absurd situations and confront their own moral boundaries. With its witty dialogue and charismatic performances, Horrible Bosses delivers a riotous and entertaining take on workplace frustrations. You want to pull off a brilliant murder? It's not a look like it's an accident. Ah! You gotta be smart. It's gotta be worth what? 15,000? I feel like everything's gonna work out. Look how fast I'm picking out this yeah. crap, you know? You I'm moving like super fast. I can't even feel my nose. Find them vulnerable. Peanuts? That was a peanut butter sandwich. Are you not good with peanuts? Whoa, whoa. Look at this. Oh! What about little jabs? Oh. Little jabs? My boss who we're planning to kill is dying in front of you and you saved his life? Well, that sounds bad when you say it like that. We're almost there. In the second spot, we have Spy. Are you ready to be treated with the hilarious twist on the spy genre, where the unlikeliest of heroes take center stage? Directed with flair and wit, this comedic gem follows the escapades of Susan Cooper, a CIA analyst played with comedic finesse by Melissa McCarthy, as she trades her death job for a shot at espionage. At first glance, Susan seems like an unlikely candidate for a spy, but later in the movie, we witness what fate has in store for her. Susan steps up to the plate, volunteering for a role she never imagined herself in. Her transformation from desk jockey to reluctant spy is a joy to watch. Every character is a delight in their own right, contributing to the film's comedic brilliance. So don't wait any longer, because Spy is one mission you won't want to miss. Did I forget to knock? Who are you? You want me to have Cagney and Lacey explain it to you? Cagney's gonna come up your ass like a thunderbolt and chew off bunch of your Swedish meatballs. You gonna cry? I'm not gonna cry. You're crying now! I'm not! Before we continue with number one, we have a bonus series you can't miss, Abbott Elementary. This is a heartwarming and hilarious tale of elementary school, where we're treated to a delightful exploration of resilience, dedication, and the power of laughter in the face of adversity. Set in a Philadelphia public school, this comedic gem follows a group of passionate teachers and one slightly tone-deaf principal as they navigate the challenges of education with humor and heart. At the center of the story is a cast of characters as diverse as the city itself, from the idealistic young teacher fresh out of college to the seasoned veteran with a penchant for unconventional teaching methods. They have it all. What sets Abbott Elementary apart is its unapologetic celebration of the human spirit. Despite the obstacles they face, the characters never lose sight of their love for what they do. So, grab your backpacks, pack your sense of humor, and join the teachers on their hilarious and heartwarming journey. You won't be disappointed. I'm ready to take the year on. I've got it down. These first graders won't know what hit them. That's enough. Make your voice deeper. <clears throat> that is enough. My work is done, Paddywai. And last but not least, The Intern. This movie brings charm and wit to the role of 70-year-old Ben Whittaker, who discovers retirement isn't as enjoyable as he thought. The story begins when Ben decides to spice up his life by applying for an internship at an online fashion store, where he encounters a skeptical boss. 
It's a delightful adventure that blends experience with the modern workplace, resulting in a heartwarming and humorous tale. Ben's ageless wisdom meets the fast-paced tech world, adding chucklesome moments to the story. One of the film's greatest strengths lies in its genuine and heartfelt performances. Robert De Niro brings warmth and insight to Ben's role, and Anne Hathaway shines as jewels, portraying a complex and driven entrepreneur. With great performances, smart writing, and a perfect blend of comedy and warmth, it's a film that leaves you smiling. How in one generation have men gone from guys like Jack Nicholson and Harrison Ford to... Oh boy. So, what do you think of our top picks? Did we miss anything? If so, let us know in the comments below. Also, if you agree with our top picks, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe, as well as share this video with your fellow cinema enthusiasts.